We are about to go big in France. We are just outside of Reim, heading up to a quarry, I believe, to pick up one of the new special transport cargoes. We are in one of the new Scania, the S650, I think. I can't really be sort of capable of changing to the outside view at the moment because we've got squiggly roads. But we'll see when we get there. I just want to take a moment here before we get there to talk a bit about the DLC that we are playing with. Uh, it came out yesterday and it is very interesting. I've done one job though until this. I just wanted to give it a go and have a see how it was before I did a video. And it was loads of fun. It's very challenging and very tricky and it certainly will push you a bit if you have done this for a while. Although I would say that it is probably more for the experienced truck simmer rather than a beginner. Because it really just messes with your head sometimes, the stuff you have to do. And you just got to get the lines right and you've got to keep everything in mind. It's just not for novices, that's what I'm trying to say, but it's brilliant. There are 11 cargoes as of yet. Uh, and there are a handful of routes. I believe there are three routes on the standard map, non-DLC map. Then there are two routes, I believe, in going east DLC. One in Poland, uh, one in Hungary, if I remember correctly, and one in Sweden, in the Scandinavia DLC, and then we have one in Norway, which I think is the trickiest one, just from what I've seen on the jobs available, but I haven't tried it yet. Uh, that is available in Norway. I believe that's from... I don't want to say where it's from. Oh, hello, you overtook me there. Yeah, I don't remember where Tron, but if it's to Oslo from one of the coastal cities uh, through some squiggly mountainy road, so that will be interesting to try at one point. Then there is, in the base map, we have, I believe, one in Germany. Uh, we have one here, which is the one we're actually doing now, but we are actually in France. But this is part of the default France, I think. Hang on, I need to be careful what I say here. Yeah, I reckon this bit here might be in France. But I'm not 100% sure, I need to uh, try and remember what parts of France was actually in the game. Or was it only uh, Calais up here that was actually part of the game? I don't know. Anyway, let's not get bogged down in that. We're heading up to a quarry where we're picking up a big box of thing. That's the best word I can describe it because I can't actually see the job until we get there. It's quite big, it's not terribly heavy, which is why we are going with uh, this truck here. A Scania S650. It doesn't have any of the tool kits on the back or any of the counterweights and that. I just don't think it's needed. Don't think we need the... Oh god, I was stopping in time. No, I'm using a... Uh... Yeah, I'm using a physics mod which has very reduced braking, especially at low speed. So, uh... okay, they're stopping for me here, but I'm very long, so I'm going to have to probably execute a three point to Stop! Yeah, see, there's no braking at low speed in this, which is quite frustrating, because I believe lorries do stop. Okay, I'll just go ahead then and put on everything that's flashing. So people are sufficiently warned about my presence. And we cleared this now, so we can go ahead and we can reverse. And stop. Thank you for it. Yeah, you just got to keep that in mind. I think you can edit a file in that, because it seems quite unrealistic to have no braking, really, at low speed. I think trucks really do stop at low speed. Pretty much as well as they stop from high speed. Uh, although we don't have any weight on us right now, which could be a problem. I suspect the lorries actually brake a little bit better when it is heavier than it is right now. But, oh well, we shall try and carry on regardless. I just twiddled a knot there because I thought my audio looked a bit low, but I don't know. 70 is the limit on this road. We'll set the cruise control. Auto gearbox on this thing. I don't know if it comes in manual. I have had a look of the configurator on the Scania's website. And it does list a manual option, but I don't know how manual it is because it could just be some sort of fake auto or fake manual on an auto gearbox. Like you can technically do it on the older Scania S's and R's that are in the game, but you would have to use a little stick behind the steering wheel like the one you see over there to change gear. This one also has, I think, a manual mode. It's in D now, but it should have an M mode where you just do it sequentially and where you flip the uh, stick towards you or away from you, depending on what you want to do. Or you tap the up or down sort of it. I don't know, it's just a bit weird. Uh, the way they're doing that. No clutch, of course. They don't really do that anymore in lorries. We are arriving here at the point though. And where do we start? Do we start at the bottom? Because that could be a problem. Or at a challenge. Yeah, let's give this a go. Stop, please. Thank you. View the job offer. Freight market. They're only available here. Not a... Oh, they've changed. These weren't the jobs that were available beforehand. But we'll go ahead and we'll snitch this high-tech device. 
which is on a 383 kilometer route. And we will go ahead and we'll take that to Strasbourg. And yep, 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 yep. We believe this is good enough. Accept, thank you. So yeah, we refill, we reset our driving hours because we can't pull into anything. We are under strict uh, rules regarding where we can drive. We have to follow the escort vehicles, basically. We have no freedom at all. They got the road and we just have to follow them. Uh, they set the speed, everything is just guided by them. Okay, we start at the top so we don't have to climb out. That's probably a good thing, although there's a man gesticulating over there violently at the camera. We'll go ahead and we'll skip here so we get some information here. Avoid possible conflict with the escort vehicles and keep the cargo between them. Yeah, do not drive out of the estimated route, not to gas stations, rest stops, anything. Obey speed limitations which will be ensured by the front escort vehicle, the car in front. Watch out for the overtaking traffic and other drivers from on the roads and change lanes of manoeuvre. Basically the rear vehicle will move in, then the front vehicle will move in and then I will move in. That way this pretty much sealed the gap that I meant to take up. Pretty simple, really. If you have a bit of common sense, you can't fail this. We will, meanwhile, we'll be on the headlights. Do we have, yeah, we have all of the flashy lights going on at the front. Headlights fully on. I think we're good to go, even though we have technically no escort vehicle where we are now. So we'll lease handbrake. We're running backwards. Stop. Thank you. Forwards, please. Here we go. Nice and gentle. We don't want to accelerate too hard. Do we have an escort vehicle behind us? I don't know. Maybe they're waiting at the road, so that would make sense down by that junction. And yeah, this is the Scania S, the new one. It's very nice. I've got the exclusive interior with the in inclusive, inclusive, no, exclusive dashboard, which you see down here. Although I'm using a mod by Peaver, which is brilliant. Over here, we've got lots of cool information. Over here, we've got engine running hours. We've got a logo. We've got this thing here, which makes nothing. We've got fuel. We've got fuel consumption at the moment and uh, average and we have temperature, pressure, cruise control, oh, that probably down there is meant to signify the lane keep assist and engine hours as we saw and then we've got a Scania logo, relatively low res but whatever, we'll go ahead and we'll keep it on fuel consumption because I like having it on that. This cargo though is a bit wider than the one I transported before and you've really got to keep your head to it uh, yeah, we just have to try and watch out here. We've got all of the road, so why don't we just use it, shall we? We'll just sit here in the middle of the road. 30 kilometers an hour seems fine. This isn't the truck. Hello, this isn't the truck that I normally drive. I have uh, initially I bought a 580 horsepower one, but I got a bit bored with the engine noise, which is what you're hearing. I don't think this is the one you're hearing here, actually. This is, sounds like it is the straight six which is what I have in it. I changed to a 450 just to get a nicer engine sound and a bit more challenge and a bit better fuel economy even though I have all the money I will ever need in the world because you just get paid ridiculous amount. Although I have a new safe farm set up regarding that but I'll talk about that at another point uh, with pro mods and with everything like that where I am doing a very realistic playthrough where you're paid like I think I set it in a mod to where you get paid 1.2 euros per kilometer you drive, which is sort of realistic, I think. It's actually a bit high, but in order to, you know, gameplay in that, I sort of tried to level it out there. So it's very low. It's, I believe, less than a tenth of what you get now from a job, which is very interesting to say the least. Anyway, we're getting to the first interesting point here. And as you can see, both the uh, French police has arrived and they're sort of trying to do their thing. And our rear escort vehicle is here, flashing all of their lights. Uh, we will try and be careful here. We need to look at the inside. And we've got that car over there has stopped for us. Everything looks fine. We take it nice and slow here. There's no point in rushing this. Moreover, if we go too fast, we might damage the cargo. Okay, let's just slow it down here. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, that's tight. That was tight. That was nice. So uh, this is a bit more... A bus, a bus, a bus, a bus. E Get into the other lane, you dick! Tell him to go off the road! I'd rather like the escort vehicles to just be... Oh! <laughs> oh pants have been soiled already. Yeah, I'd rather have that escort vehicle in the middle of the road to really show them we're coming through and we're pretty fucking big, mate off the road. I mean, technically, in real life, you'd have another escort vehicle just ahead of this one. Yeah, here we go. Now he's herding him off the road. That's good. 
I like that, but we can go in, we can actually pull a bit farther over now that we have uh, no armco on the inside, we've just got some deforested forest over here. Hello, French police, yep, just a bit big here, mate. Hope you're having a lovely day. Go and get those criminals you like. Oh, we've got a lorry coming through here with some Ivecos on the back. Oh, ho, ho, ho. how tight is that? I need to see that the next time we've got our vehicle coming through. Oh no, we've got a sign coming up. Yeah, now you were afraid of signs. That's not something that happened since I played this with a controller. And that was like 2013. Oh god! Okay, let's try and go out here and see how tight are we actually pushing here. Oh boy, we're pushing it tight. Yeah, thanks for slowing down, mate. I mean, we've got plenty of room here. Have we caught him up here by the sign? But if we just go out here and we have a look here, see, we now keep a bit of distance to that sign, but we are taking up pretty much half the other. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Right. Hello, buzz. How tight are we? Yeah, that's still a bit tight. It's not as tight as it looked from the inside. Let's just bring it over here a bit. Hello, yep, thanks for coming to a stop. It looked really tight. Yeah, as I said, this is not for beginners. You really need to try and keep your head straight here. So we're now trying to bring it over here a bit away from the inside because I don't want to take out any other signs, any of the bollards. And uh, yeah, we're not going very quickly indeed. I don't know if the Escort vehicle has slowed down. Uh, it may slow down if I go slow and then it will stop at a certain speed that has been uh, designated. Uh, as I said, you get sort of disqualified. You fail the job immediately if you rear off course. Which is technically correct. There's a lot of legislation and bureaucracy you need to get through in order to just do one of these types of jobs in the real world. And you don't really get to choose your own route. That gets designated. I believe you had to send it in to the police. That may vary where you are, but you have to send in a, uh, a request for a oversized transport to the police. And they will then get in touch with all the councils and inform everybody who's doing roadworks. Uh, all of that, so, you know, everything is okay. Oh, God! Oh, <laughs> it's just terrifying. Oh boy. I'm genuinely shitting myself whenever we get to one of those points. We got another bus here. Yep, we're just taking it nice and slow. Hello, bus. Yep, hope you mind. Okay, thank you. It's, it's very tight, very tight. And the worst thing is, it's the actual cargo that's sticking out. It's not the trailer that's going to get damaged. It would be the actual cargo. You will be able to get away with a bit of damage to a trailer. But there's no point in carrying on if we damage the cargo. Uh, let's go around here, let's go a bit wide, avoiding that sign. No jobs, interestingly though, in Italy as of yet, but they are adding more routes, or they have promised to add more routes later on. Uh, I think that's just in general, not just to Italy, but to all of the map, uh, which is very nice of them. I believe that will be free of charge. Uh, that's only the implied way of doing it uh, from them, which is very nice. Oh god. Oh, God, you're on the inside of that corner as well, aren't you? Yep, but we've got plenty of room. I think, I'm guessing it to be a bit wider than it actually is. And the mirror is sent to distort the uh, view. I think we've got another Shandarm up ahead, and that might actually be a Shandarm, but we'll see when we get near. Yeah, it doesn't look that far, does it, when it's 400 kilometres? Was it 380-something kilometres we were doing? But uh, we haven't really covered that much ground. Let's go ahead and try and accelerate up here a bit. See if he's willing to go further. Oh no, it's not the police. Who's that? Is that just some bloke out there with a the camera? It is. Is that? Uh, who's that? What's going on there? Oh, it's a news crew. All right then. Hello, news crew. We won't beat the horn at them because they're probably doing a report on us. Bus. Hello, bus. Yeah, see, now he's shepherding him off the road. But there's obviously some arm coat. <sighs> Yeah, that looks tight. I've got plenty of room on my inside. I'll go ahead and I'll move over a bit so I don't shit myself. Yeah, we're now accelerating a bit and that car in front is speeding up a bit. That is nice. We've got a bit more here coming up. Please, no cars, no cars and come in. Anything? No, we're looking fine. We're looking fine. We're looking good. I'll go ahead and I'll command more road position here. Jesus. Oh, this is a blind bend as well. Can we lean forward here? Are oh, we looking fine? Good. Good, good, good. You're a good girl. You can do this, you big girl. You've got a massive engine under your cab. There's not really a bonnet on this thing, is there? You see, I'm more concerned about the oncoming cars, but I really also need to pay attention to my offside because, you know, there are signs and bollards and that that I can damage, and at some point there will be buildings. 
And uh, that probably won't end well. I hope we're not going through a town. What route are we actually taking here? Oh great, we're going via this road here. We're not going to pop onto the motorway and take that road, which would be nice and wonderful for me. No, no, we are of course going to go via this road. Okay, fine. It's just, oh god, I think either that's an overpass or an underpass. Either way, it's going to be tricky. Uh, but we'll manage, I hope. The only issue I have with this DLC is that there are no uh, those little signs on the front of the trucks. Uh, the convoy exceptional and the uh, localization versions of them. All oh, the UK, they have their own little system over there with their TTO uh, category cargoes, which is a bit weird, but whatever. Let's try and speed it up here. We don't need to go this low. We're never going to get there. I tend to slow down whenever an oncoming vehicle approaches, and presumably that's a smart idea to do that. But uh, we're not really moving at all, and I think the speed limit we're allowed to do here is... Uh, well, we, he'll pretty much just stop accelerating when we're at the maximum speed, so we will figure it out. I'm getting 60, because that's what the sat-nav indicates to us. And the good old engine here is working overtime. Look at the fuel consumption. Blimey. It's a bit high. Oh, and there's the police, not the gendarmes. They're the blue ones. These are the white ones, so they're the police nationale. Bonjour, police! Guten Tag. Oh, no, wait, that's German. Hello, over there we've got some observers going on. Trying to have a look here, making sure we're not mashing anything up. But we're doing good. No cars, no nothing. It's going well so far. We haven't murdered anybody. Cargo is intact. None of the escort vehicles has been malleted by anything. Everything's going well. Is that a horse? I can even look at horses now. I don't remember them being here. When did that horse get here? Oh, a man with a horse. Ah, oh, it's a part of the DLC. Lovely. Oi, oi, up there. The horse, let's not beep the horse. Oh, could we change gear next to a horse? Never do that, by the way, in real life. Always slow down and maintain a constant speed, preferably at a low uh, rev. Uh, just so you don't spook them. Uh, horses are a bit spooky when it comes to vehicles. Also, if you drive an emergency vehicle, remember to give off the noise when you approach horses. And if there are more emergency vehicles following you, Remember to tell them over the radio that there are horses so they can turn off the noise so you don't scare the horse, potentially causing a lot of injury to one or more people. Like if that runs out in front of, say, a police car that's responding at 100 miles an hour, uh, it's not only the horse that's going to get injured, it's also the person riding the horse and the police officers in the car. So please be careful regarding horses. Uh, just, just, oh God, <clears throat> I'm being killed by myself now. Yeah, there's just no, no joy with horses really, you know. They hurt if things go wrong. Like this would if we crash this thing here. What does it look like from the outside? Yeah, it looks fucking massive, doesn't it? Fucking massive, mate. We need one and a half lanes to actually fit this whole thing in. And uh, yeah, we don't necessarily have that the whole time. Thankfully, I don't think we're going any through any cities. We passed over the motorway. And that was okay. I am looking forward to seeing this in Italy once we get that, because that part of the map is brilliant, and we'll cover that later on. But it really is nice. Uh, what else do we have over here? We just need to be careful not to go too far out, because usually it can be dangerous to do that. Either there'll be an Armco in there, and if I'm too far out, I'll sort of ride up on it. I'm getting how high up is it? Yeah, this might just clear Armco, but I'm not 100% sure it will. So, and we've got Armco coming up here, and presumably more traffic in a moment. We've been quite lucky with that so far. Let's try and accelerate up here. It is a bit heavy, but the engine is coping fine. I just need to try and accelerate here, although we've got a bend coming up, so I don't want to go too fast around it. Cargo is probably a bit more fragile than, you know, like a load of cement would be, or gravel. But now we clear that, we're going fine. Car coming, hello. Yeah, we can go ahead and pull a bit further over here. We'll accelerate up to 60. Hello, off the road, thank you. Lorry, thank you. It looks tighter than me, River. I think it looks tighter than it is. I can probably just lean out at the next one. Now that we don't have any traffic, I'll go out and I'll just position myself a bit more centered. That uh, way we have more room on either side. There's nobody coming, I can always move over if we've got traffic. All right, you wanted the lower gear, why? What's 11th not fine enough? Oh, hello. Okay. That looks really tight, and I don't know how tight it is. And I really hope they've got accurate hitboxes on this thing. 
because that could go wrong, but not, not really hitbox, just because it's not a shooter, but, you know, collision detection. Because that could really mess you over. This is a game of millimetres sometimes. I've seen that programme on Discovery Channel about truckers who drive over silly stuff in England, and it's pretty good. I've seen that programme, and they get into some really tight spots, sometimes so tight they have to get craned in, which happened in one of the episodes I saw. Okay, Ben coming up here, slow down for that. Slow down, we don't want to go too fast in. Cargo is helped down here. But I don't think it's helped down to handle massive G loads. And we've got a big old scanny coming towards us. Hello there, thank you. The very oh we've got a big sign spot. Clear. Oh that cleared underneath the actual sign. That was a tight one. We all lights over there. There we go, just a bit of horn to give them a bit of a cheer. We got the chandelry over there, lovely. Not really parked in the roadway, but off the roadway, which is a bit weird, but I'm guessing that's some sort of game engine limitation. Don't think it would actually work if they're parked on the road. There might be some collision detection thing that will mess it up. It might just try and drive the car off if it is on the road, and it doesn't if it's in there. Yeah, this is a bit of a tricky road, though. Lots of bend, lots of blind sections. Like right here, somebody can come just across a brow right into us. That would hurt. But they didn't, thankfully. I'm guessing there's some sort of traffic detection going on as well, where it will spawn in traffic if the uh, situation allows. We're now actually being slowed down by the escort vehicle. So we'll go ahead and we'll just try and breathe off here and not get too close to him, like we're doing here. So slow down a bit. He wants me slower, so we will go slower. Don't know why, but uh, they do. Oh, do we maybe want to pull over at some point? Because I can see quite a lot of traffic out the back. So do we want to like, pull into a lay-by at some point and let traffic pass? You get that many off the road, will you? Yeah, you sort of slow down and move over a bit, but it's not really a lot. But I don't really need it to do any more. It's not like I've got a big house or something on the back. And that's the thing they do in America, which is weird. They just put a house on the back of a lorry. That's fine. Why would you just... just I don't understand that, but whatever. They're allowed to move houses. You want to live in a different place, but you want the same house. That's a weird approach to things. Okay, can we get another gear, please? Because I'm getting pretty high revs. Thank you. Yeah, the advantage of a manual is that I can just put it into whatever gear I want it to be in. Here, yeah, sort of have to coach it into the right gear, which doesn't always work. Like sometimes I end up stabbing the throttle here if I wanted to go into tents, for example, which it did there. But sometimes it doesn't want to. It's just a bit weird, but that's just an automatic gearbox for you. Sometimes manual is better, but this is certainly more comfortable. You don't have to do the clutchy thing, which is, you know, tiresome if you're in uh, congestion or you're in the city. Oh, and now I'm getting tired. Oh, boy. Let's just try and carry on here around that side. No traffic. Plenty of time to admire the landscaping, which is why it'll be nice to see Italy added on to special transport. This is bloody pretty down there. Bloody pretty. That's a good idea. We've got a petrol station. Could we speed up a bit? Don't know if that does anything, but it makes me feel good. So now we're speeding up a little bit. We can probably go a bit quicker now. Oh yeah, look at this. We're speeding up tremendously. We're up to 52 kilometers now. 53. Let's set the cruise control at that. Somebody's pulled over up ahead. Don't know why they're pulled over. Let's move over for the roadworks. Clearing that nicely. Oh, don't tell me somebody's broken down. Yeah, just go past us, please, so we can actually just take all of the roadway. Yeah, we're going to move quite wide over here, thanks to that person having pulled over right there. He's not moving out, so we can go ahead and pull back in. I should probably have indicated, but whatever. That was fine, that was fine, that was fine. I don't want to go too close to them. When we got the room, we might as well use it. We'll certainly get a chance to get tight at some point. Not now we can move over a bit more here because we've got plenty of room on the inside. Persho blokes pulling over, slowing down. Thank you. Escort vehicle, could you please speed up a tiny bit because we're, you know, gaining on you. That would be great. Or not, maybe. Okay. How close are we getting? We're getting closer. We've covered nearly half the distance. And what are we seeing in here? Yeah, high tech device, 45 tons, not that heavy. 
uh, 6 by 6 by 1.2 meters so that's height so it's okay so it's actually 6 meters wide 6 meters long Christ that is big and we got a lorry coming up ahead right by some signs yeah, we're slowing down we're taking it nice and gentle clear that sign we'll just hold this line here although we clear that sign we'll move over a wee bit made it through fine yeah this is tight didn't have tight I need to try and check that the next time if we're on a reasonably straight road but we don't want to accelerate too hard as well because it's dangerous because the load might shift and all of that stuff I mean it's tied down on that but I don't think it's meant to handle like a massive acceleration that's just not how things are meant to work especially with an overhang like that uh, it's not really fully really supported with the weight properly so it could like, snap into pieces yeah we might want to pull over at some point and just let all of those people through that should be something we should do but apparently we're not going to do that because we are on the road our Uveco here is going to go past we're going to go wide here so we've got the barriers in there let's see if this would actually clear it wouldn't clear that barrier so uh, if we go too wide we will collide and we will damage the cargo quite a lot so let's not do that and now we've got a car coming easy though but hello that does look really tight in the mirror it looks like I'm riding it with a couple of millimeters to spare but I don't know if I am speed up again please Ali Ali we're going forwards to a pizza no we're not we're going to where are we going to does it say current job no it doesn't say we're going to oh well we can see it down there at another quarry so apparently we had a high-tech device from one quarry to another quarry I don't think quarries are known for having high-tech devices in them are they it's like old diggers and you know excavators and miners and, and that kind of stuff anyway that's not really for me to discuss is it he shall carry on and try and find anything else to avoid crashing into are we going quick now we're up to 60 engage the cruise control and just relax for a moment fuel consumption is a lot nicer on this run than on my previous run that might be because this is much lighter than the previous one I think the first one I did was like 60 tons that was a big uh, thing don't remember exactly what it's called something like a, maybe like a condenser or something like the big tank okay this is actually tricky now and I need to try and focus on doing this bit especially if there's a car coming which I thankfully isn't yeah this is tight we'll just take it nice and slow nice and slow 40 kilometers now that's okay just okay just riding it around the bends nobody's coming nobody's coming nobody's coming yeah you also do the uh, thing to the police because that way they can make sure you're not going to encounter any other of these special transports because if you met two of these on the road you would be in quite a lot of pain because you can't fit both can you I mean we can here yeah, sorry about that but you can't hear because it's quite wide so you just what are you doing mate all right that's fine the French police over there just parked by the side of the road that's fine we're taking off a sort of more commanding middle of the road position here I don't seem to do any motorway miles in this don't know why just not a thing that happens and I prepared Italy for it as well because on all of the toll booths on the uh, motorway you do have those little um, pass around lanes or bypass lanes you can go on the inside which is closed but I'm presuming they can open those up for one of these transports they may have to do a few modifications and that but it should certainly fit I think it might be more motorway miles if you go onto the base map though or if we go to some of the other ones so they may be worth trying at another point gear change thank you that was kind of you well, we're now accelerating back again up to about 55 oi oi lad they were taking photographs so they got a beaver horn asked to say hi the gendarmerie is out in a Renault again very exciting for them probably not because it's a Renault and they're pretty crap okay what's going on here why do we have a vehicle parked on the other side of the road flashing 
Is that another escort vehicle? What is that one of our cars? Is that a city car? I think it's the Yeah, they may just be out here to try and monitor that we don't actually damage the bridge. Although they should probably have closed it for traffic if they were going to do that. Clear that bridge nicely. Speedy uppy chappy. If you would like. I've realised why this one only has flashing front lights. Because that, of course, is the front escort vehicle. The rear one does have the rear light, but they've got sort of like a traffic advisor. And that's flashing. And the rear one, I saw that one when you pulled out of the quarry. But the front one doesn't, and I couldn't understand why when I did the first job, but it makes obviously sense. Why would that need to warn behind it about something coming at it? You go over there and get that police car off the road. <laughs> yeah, that just takes some balls, doesn't it? I suppose you do need quite big balls in order to drive one of those escort vehicles, because you need to sort of drive pretty much directly at the oncoming traffic. And you need to get everything quite right. The front one will warn, I believe, about anything coming up ahead. And the rear one will keep an eye out for the driver if he's about to smash into something. Because, uh, you know, usually you can't see what's going on at the back. So the rear guy will be on the CB telling the lorry driver if he's about to make a big mess. A big expensive mess, I should add. Because these kind of loads don't tend to be cheap. They tend to be worth quite a lot of money. Which does put a lot of pressure on whoever's driving it, because, you know, you'll always be held accountable if you bang one of those up. It's never the route planners, it's never them that's going to get the, uh, the short end of the straw, it's always the driver. Uh, and you do encounter quite a lot of these if you're driving Denmark, on the motorway certainly. Like, daily they're out there, just with uh, wind turbine parts. Quite large wind turbine parts, I might add. Oh. <coughs> Oh, <laughs> it's not nice. It's really not nice. Don't know why I'm so concerned about the oncoming cars. They're probably cheaper, but we need to keep an eye out on them. Because that'll be a crash of vehicle offence, of course. This on the inside won't. And it will probably be my fault. Oh, God, what are we... Oh, God, okay, we're making a junction here where we're making a turn. And we hopefully have a police car parked on the other side of the road. Where we're going to command over here all of the roadway be happy and make a big nice white turn right here we go we might as well use all of the road now that we have it there's no point going tighter than necessary now then alley alley to the guy in front but maybe he'll accelerate once he sees me accelerating uh, it's, yeah this is the part of the road i have driven on before but it sort of splits off going through this little part here and the other lane goes Goes the other direction of that car coming ahead, so we'll go ahead and move over. Hello, Skoda boy. You can fit right through in your Octavia. Yes, you can. We've got another junction up ahead, but I can see some flashing lights, I reckon, up there. So the police are up there as well, blocking up for us. Which we do need, because apparently these vehicles have right away at red lights. So the police will be up here blocking off the road. Let's just slow it down. Yeah, see, now going red, but we just go right through because the police are here. Cheers for that. We should try now and command a bit more sense of position of the road because we've got those poles right up there. Now we've got some armco signs. It's just really tight now. Like a nice big lorry coming towards us now will be tricky. I'm just going to try and pay a bit more attention here because I don't really have the best visibility and I don't know what's going to come over that brow. Just look around. Oh, yeah, see, that's the lorry I was talking about. Hello. You gonna move over for me a bit more, please? That is tight. Okay, we've got a television crew up ahead, so we need to look smart. Put on the tie. Make sure we don't got egg on our shirts. Sit up tight right here and look really important and controlled. Of course, we're gonna encounter a bus here, and he's going to go out there. Yeah, this will look great on the local telly. Nice. Yeah, she's doing a report about the big truck coming through a part outside of town because you know that's where you want to do the report. Do they still do that, by the way, in local news? Like, if they do these really big calls, is that still something that's covered by the local news? It should be because this is much cooler than most other things they could report on. Okay, we've got an auto transporter there, and you're not even going to try and get him off the road. Cheers for helping out there, escort driver. It does look tight on that view, but we may have a half a metre or something if we go into cheaty third-person view, which I won't do, 
Okay, he's going over there now to tell him to get off the road. But he's not really paying much attention, is he? Plenty of room there. Although I'm going into a ditch. We've got another vehicle parked over here. It's parked next to that road works up there. Police. Hello. Yep, we'll go through here. Just pull over a wee bit more. Right. Oh, you've got escort vehicles or work vehicles parked up ahead alongside the police. We're making a turn left. Uh, what's he watching out there? I'm trying to see, is he watching? Are we going over like a bridge or something that he's keeping an eye out? Okay, are you... Okay, we're at our final destination because he's pulling up there and he's now blocking them off and showing that we can turn in here. And that guy's probably going to stop there as well or maybe he's going to follow me in. I'm going far too wide here because I'm paying attention to what's behind me. No, he's blocking off there. And now the junk is technically clear so they can go ahead and let them through. But I don't think they're going to. So this has been a job here. We can go ahead and put on the high beams as well. We'll take it to the end, shall we? I don't think I damaged the cargo in any way. I think... No, this has been good. I've done a competent job. And I'm pleased about that. So yeah, this has been special cargo that you'll see. A job in France from... Uh, Reims to... Uh, I don't know where this is, but we'll probably see that at the end. Okay, we changed down, that's fine. We're going up a hill. Using a lot of fuel, but that's okay. It is a special job. It's heavy, it's all of those things. We'll run down the hillside. And we will then... Slowly begin to retard. We'll actually use some ending brake here, though we need to be careful. I don't know if that's going to damage the trailer. So we'll take it nice and slow through here. And we're parking on a downward slope. That's fantastic. That's just what I want. More trouble stopping this thing. Yeah, nobody's here to actually receive it, which is brilliant of them. But they're probably going to turn up as soon as we arrive. Right. And let's just slow it down really here. Down to a couple of kilometres an hour. Now we're just relying on the mirror up here to see if we are in spot stop. Handbrake on, then I press this button where we decouple and the job has been completed. Oh yes it has. Bum 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 bum. Complete it here, very heavy. No real bonus to this other than just high value, no special transport bonus, which is a bit weird but whatever. Anyway, this has been special cargo transport DLC. For you, Truck Simulator, I've lost the ability to do words. Goodbye for now.